songs, you're a songwriter, you're always writing and and stuff morphs one way or the other. You, 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 most things are poetry, but you can put some songs to it. And some are just plain good old poetry, cowboy poetry, none of the mushy stuff. Cowboy poetry dates back to the 1880s, where after a hard day on the range, cowboys would sit around a campfire at night and entertain one another with poems and tall tales known as windies. Illiteracy was common, so poetic forms were employed to aid memory. Wayne Ezard, musician, artist, and now author and cowboy poet, has released a new book called Where Eagles Soar. Uh, the short stories are uh, all to do with people I've met here and some of the crazy things that have gone on in this country, uh, some that I've been involved in, some that I haven't, thankfully. But uh, I've watched and uh, been part of it and heard stories around campfires and just put these stories together. and. Uh, my good wife uh, would badger me into uh, putting this together in a book because she thought it was worthwhile and she was right, again. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Wayne's music and writing career started back in Toronto in the Yorkville area and for the last 30 years he has been playing in local bands and writing on the side. There's three short stories. The, the last story uh, where you go is a little longer but they're all, uh, they're all just nice, a nice short read. Um, I think one of uh, one of the guys that bought it and said he's enjoyed it, he says he calls it his bathroom bucket. <laughs> Getting a book out these days is not an easy task. With all the modern entertainment technologies, people just aren't reading that much anymore, especially cowboy poetry. What a learning curve. Uh, finding, uh, finding somebody that will, will actually uh, publish a book for you in Canada, uh, you literally have to go to self-publish to get started. But then when you sort through self-publish, there's a lot of people out there willing to take your money. So finding somebody reputable uh, that's going to do a real good job for you, they're there for you, not for their back pocket. And uh, Trafford, because it was a Canadian company and, and in Vancouver Island, uh, I decided to go with them and they've treated me very well. So what is cowboy poetry really like? Well, here's a little taste. Living in God's country. It's a cold full moon the color of ice as it gleams on a blanket of snow and it's deadly as hell if you're caught on aware and it's well past 40 below. It's quiet and still, there's not even a breeze. The stars cast a silvery light and even the coyote snuggles deep in his lair and he waits out the worst of the night. And here in my cabin, with a fire on the hearth, I'm so thankful to God I'm inside because it's nature's way to cull out the weak and out there tonight something will die. What is it about this place? What hold does it have over man? Because as much as I cuss it and fight it, when all's said and done, I love it. It's a hell of a land. Oh, I've, I've been down south. I've played on the beach. I've been seduced by the sand and the surf. But it's here I'll stay. Well, at least till I die. And if this damn cold don't kill me first. If you want to get into a cowboy mood, check Wayne out at www.ezard.com. This is Bert Goulet in a cowboy state of mind reporting for Shaw TV at the capital of the peace, Dawson Creek.